Good evening everyone, Jake here at Walkie Farm. Otto's up there getting a mandarin and we are going to go over to one of our beehives. We have a beehive that is struggling this winter and we're gonna give it a little bit of help. I'll show you how we do it, come along. This is our fancy door stop because the wind always grabs the door. It's not bad, is it? Bailing time. Come on, Otto. Bring Dad a mandarin, please. Yeah, he has two. Good boy. So we've got our smoker, we've got pine needles, some matches, our hat, <gasps> what do you have? What is it? Come show me. You got a nice mandarin. Wow, can you peel one? Put one in there, put mine in here, and I'll carry it. Put it in, and then you peel yours. Eat it! You just said you're hungry. Eat it up. You need to more honey to feel better. So the bees need more honey to feel better? Yes. Now, are they a bit sick? Yes. Yes. And why don't they have enough honey? Uh, this honey, this, this bees. Why, why don't the bees have enough honey? You need this honey yeah. there. Because it's winter and there's not enough flowers for them. So I was telling Otto in the car, we take the bees honey in summer, don't we? Yes! And we eat it, but in winter, sometimes they don't have enough. So we keep them a little bit extra in our fridge, and if they need some food, we give it to them. And that's what we're going to do today, isn't it? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. I <laughs> like your style, boy. So we use pine needles, we smoke the bees just to chill them out. We've got pine needles along the eastern boundary of our farm and I love the smell of them geez it's great um, but it just seems to work really well it smolders nicely this is actually a little glass jar with um, matches in it that I made in scouts I only went to scouts for a little while I made this geez must be 20 years ago waterproof matchbox it's all right it, no it doesn't stink it smells nice bit hard to film and do this. The trick is to get the lid on really quick, really quick, because it's a lot easier to put the lid on when you can handle it. And if you take too long, the metal heats up and then it's very hard work. So while it's still... Needs more honey in there. Well, there's no honey in this, but we're gonna use this to make the, make the bees relaxed. We'll just get the smoke going. Rightio. It's going pretty well. It's low. Daddy, it's low. We need to get the honey for them. Yeah. Oh, it's leaked a little bit. Oh, that's a pain. This is out of our freezer. We've got a big freezer. So this is a full frame of honeycomb which we glad wrap and freeze mainly to keep out the weevils and things that when you store honeycomb here it gets full of it if you've got a weak hive it gets full of it as well so we just want to preserve this we kept this from a frame that was doing really well a hive that was doing really well in summer and spring and now we've got a weak hive so we're going to go and put it in to give them some food you gonna come with daddy and help? No. Come on. There's the cows in their new paddock today. They've been in there a few hours and they've already eaten all the quote weeds, all the marshmallow, shredded to bits. The calves are laying down resting. Got the little puppy 
crates out and there's the puppies. I just saw another puppy go. Someone just came and picked up their puppy. Oh. Say bye puppy. bye puppy. Don't worry, there's more coming. Alright Otto, put your hat on. Okay. We're up here at the beehive that's not doing too well. There's the market garden. And here's a little tool shed and a couple worm farms that we've got ready but we haven't actually fired up. I don't normally kit up for the bees too much because they're pretty good, but these guys, because they're struggling, they're a bit nasty. Do you want help, Otto? Bees. Yeah. You eat it. Okay, so before we... Oh, I've nearly lost my smoke. Before we undo the lid, we're just going to smoke them out because look at them, they're already not stoked with us here. Radio, got it going. So I've just got the hive. I've got the frame here. I'm not going to open it yet. And we're just going to calm them down before we crack the hive because once they crack, once I crack it, they're not going to be stoked with me. This is one of our angrier hives. And as soon as we crack it, we're going to have a quick assessment. There's not much activity here at all. And if it looks all right, we'll leave it. But any issues, we'll address them now if we can. And if they start getting upset, which this hive has a precedent for, I'll grab Otto and run. <laughs> Come back later without him, I'll go put him in the house. Can you film Otto? Can you hold this? Hold this camera, the camera. That's it, hold it like the pointer at Daddy. Can you do that? Can you see Daddy on the camera? Yeah, good boy. Come. So. I didn't put that Coles bag there. We've got a, oh, what's he done? He's zoomed in. We've got an Apris that comes and help us. So I'm just having a look. He's obviously put that in to hold water out. He's a bit of a cowboy. Having a look, there's a lot of, a lot of frames in here. Try and just surround Otto so they don't get him. Go stand away, Otto. Go wait back a little bit, it's okay. There's a lot of frames in here, but there's not much honey in them. You can see they're all pretty well empty. If you blow it in the bottom, it'll come up through the hive and just chill them out a little bit. They're a bit noisier than I'd like. Okay. I might actually You want to smell like smoke? That's okay. I'll tell you what. The hive is in rough shape. Full of empty, full of empty honeycomb. Is that an oxymoron? Otto was way more help than I expected him to be. I got in there ready to crack in. Otto was holding his nerve. Bees were getting loud. I forgot my stupid hive tool. I carry around the tiny little pocket knife with me. It's actually illegal to carry a knife. So I just carry this little thing that hooks onto my belt. I tried to open, tried to pry a frame out with it, but unprepared, silly, silly. So I closed it back up, I'm gonna go get a tool and then open it again, which might not be the best idea, but we're halfway there, we may as well do it. Okay, Otto's found a shovel, he's pretty, insistent on staying at the shed digging a hole which doesn't worry me because they might fire up at me now so we'll go on quickly 
I'll tell you what, we've got a pretty organized shed. We've got shelves, you know, we've got a bee shelf and a hot wire shelf and a, you know, a garden hose pipe fitting shelf, all these different things. Can't find the hive tool anywhere. So I've just grabbed a couple big flathead screwdrivers and I'm not gonna be able to film it because I just want to get in and out. Um, but I'll report in after. See you in a sec. Rightio folks, we're all done. Cracked it open again and made it happen. I'll show you the uh, frame I took out. This side's completely empty and we're nearly halfway through winter. That side has a little bit of honey in it, but it's right in the middle of the frame. They were really getting revved up. I haven't been stung at all. I had them crawling on my hands and they were pretty happy, but uh, a little bit of honey right in the center of the hive tells you that there was basically none anywhere else. They'll eat the edges out first. Uh, but what I, what I was happy about was when I was in the hive, I saw some bees with their pollen bags full, which tells me they're obviously getting feed from somewhere. So if you see him there, see how the bags are full on the legs? Not many though. That one's, see the stingers hanging out? It stung something, the poor thing, didn't sting me. But there's still a few bees where the bags are full. I've locked it up. So I'm happy with that. They're still getting some food from somewhere, but that's a, that was a chockers frame I put in there. So hopefully we've set that frame up for success. Uh, it's been a cold winter. We've been getting some mega frosts and the we've got quite a few other hives here that are double stackers and they're doing a lot better. Uh, they've been vig more vigorous all season, all year. That frame's definitely been the weakest link. But we knew that, and that's why we've kept some of those frames separate. And I explained it to Otto before. The bees make extra food and we eat it. But when we take it out, we keep a bit more for them in case they get in trouble. And in this case, they're in trouble. So if that frame can't make it now, it'll either die. Or if it, if it keeps struggling and they eat that honey and we get back to them in time, we're probably going to move them. Because that's needed a lot of nursing. And we've got all the rest of our frames. We've got about a dozen other boxes all within I'd say 200 meters, all flourishing. But that's been struggling there for a while. So either it's a weak hive or somehow it's a bad position. And we'll make that judgment call in a few weeks. We'll, I'll probably cut it open in a month again and monitor what it's up to. I don't want to take all these bees back to the shed with me. So I'll get them to come back to the hive. Knock them off. Get out of here, because my, my smoke's just about run out. Little garden on the side of the house. Are you digging a hole? This is the south side of the house, and Terry's got compost all along his piping. We've got in-floor heating, but when the piping was installed years ago, they didn't put the pipe deep enough underground. We've dug it up to have a look in recent years because we've always had issues with the heating. And in some places it's only 20, 30, 40 centimeters under the ground where it needs to be well over a meter. The line goes out to the dam and heats up and comes back and puts water through the slab to heat the house. And it needs to be deep in the ground to get that thermal mass. So we put compost on it, which has worked wonders this winter so far. And we've got some lemon trees. We call this Lemoncello Lane. These are a bit less than a year old. Some are doing okay. The ones that get the afternoon sun are doing really well. The ones that it doesn't quite get to are suffering a bit. But we have found in this climate, doesn't matter what we do when we plant lemon trees, they, they suffer for a year or two. There's our couple flow hives. They're all really strong at the moment. You can see the X-wing in the background. There's the livestock grazing. And Otto's working hard. You're doing a nice job digging for Grumpy. Yeah. Now guess what? I've got some honey if you want to come and lick it and try it. Yeah. You want to come with me? Yeah. Come on, let's try the honey. It's in Dad's wheelbarrow. Yeah, look. This is the bag that the hive was in. You can put your finger in the honey like this. Or is it on the other side? No, it's in there. You can put your finger in that and lick your finger. Abby. 
Should we go check the puppy? Yes. Let's go check on it. Well, all the puppy's friends got picked up. All its brothers and sisters have gone to the new houses, the new homes. Puppy. Come on. Bring it out, Otto. Puppy, don't. Okay, if it comes with us, it's not going to cry anymore, is it? Oh, we mightn't share. We might eat our own honey first. Ah, oh, it's A little bit dirty to share with a puppy. A little bit dirty to share with a puppy, Otto. You can eat it by yourself. Don't get on your clothes. Mum will be upset with Dad. <laughs> <laughs> And I might try some of, some of this. Try this. Can I try this? I can try this one. I'll try it. Mm. Peace. Rest, peace, Daddy. Rest, peace. Oh, it doesn't quite fit. Push your finger in here. See, it's wet. Get it on your finger. Hey, no, 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 no. Don't just destroy it, Otto. No, 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 excuse me. The bees can use it again. Uh. The bees can use it again. There's no honey here. The honey's here. That's it. Mm. <gasps> no, don't touch it. That's it. Let it crawl on. You have to put your hand in front of it. Don't pick it. No, no, no. Let it... You can let it crawl on, but don't pick it up. Don't pinch it. Where's it gone? There. Did you get it? Yeah. Do you want it on your hand? <laughs> now don't hurt it, that's it. Put it on the grass. Push it off with your other finger, just gentle. Hey, good boy. Now, don't step on it. Are bees our friends? Okay, let's pack up. Put it in the wheelbarrow. We'll go pack up. Right here, everyone. That's farm life here at the Walkie Farm today. Thanks for coming along. Filming's probably a bit shady today. I was filming under pressure, but I hope you got something out of it. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Up you get, do it again. What's this, Otto? A motorbike. It's your new motorbike. Put your feet on this. Can you put your feet up? No. Get faster, go! We're just going to check yesterday's grazing. Just to see how they did. Where does your food come from, folks? <laughs>